How's it going? How you doing? I'm gonna play some Mayro Land, the second one. I'm playing the DX hack. Yes, yeah, somebody made a hack to uh, create a color version of the game. It really makes it pop. It really makes it stand out among the crowd maybe not but it, it looks pretty good I think uh, there are two gameplay changes most of the other stuff is just cosmetic as you can see but there's two gameplay changes first one is that it uses the Game Boy Colors processor so there's a lot there's less lag than there would be on the original game and also Luigi is playable I don't know if I'm gonna be playing as Luigi but it's something you can do Anyway, Super Mario Land 2, let's go. Let's go, let's do it. A. So basically, the plot here is that Mario apparently has an island getaway. I might want to turn the volume down on my end just a little bit. But uh, Mario apparently has an island getaway, and Wario's like, oh, that's cool, I want some of that. So. He essentially orchestrates the events of the first Mario Land and gets Daisy kidnapped to distract Mario. He then takes over his home and hypnotizes the residents or the animals or whatever, whatever have you. And that's the plot of Mario Land 2. It's not gonna win Oscars, but it'll do. Erp, erp. And it's probably one of my more, it's probably one of my favorite Mario games. There's a lot of class, there's a lot of spunk. There's a lot of me getting hit. Hey, Ocean. So, sorry about, uh, you know, doing a stream at the same time you were, but, uh, you know, I just got back after three months. I really wanted to do it, and I'm also... You know, I also got limited opportunities for I'm gonna have to leave again. In other words, I'm back, but I might be going on a smaller hiatus again in December. But I mean, December's pretty much a busy month for everybody, so that's not hugely surprising, is it? Oh, ran out of star. I mean, it makes a bit more sense this time than Mario Land 1, where you had the can-can for some reason. This game's a bit less weird than Mario Land 1, but it's still plenty weird, but in a, in a very charming sort of way, I think. Oh, and uh, one big change, not gameplay-wise, is that Mario usually has a feather on his cap in the original game. But, the DX mod... Yeah, the DX mod gets rid of it. 
which I mean I guess makes sense because I'm sure that pretty much the only reason Nintendo had the feather is because they couldn't convey the usual palette swap on the Game Boy for obvious reasons. And I'm sure that removing the different set of sprites is how they got the spray the sprace on the ROM for Luigi. Wow, great. Completely, completely redundant power-up. Don't worry, though. One-ups are not going to be in short supply in this game. This game hands them out like candy. But yeah, so this is the goal. We're trying to collect the six golden coins to get into Mario's castle. And it just has the he has the name on the name of the game right on the door there. Alright, so first I'll go to this level right here, and then we'll start the game proper. We'll go to one of the worlds. So while I'm doing this, think about which world you want me to go to first. You got You got Turtle Place Land, you got Tree, you got Space, you got Haunted, and then you got uh, Transformers. Space. Space. But yeah, I just think this game looks really good in color. Mm, couple spaces. Yeah, this game just looks, uh, really good in color, I think. It really, it really brings out just the colorful or, you know, not not colorful before, but colorful now. It really brings out the, you know, co colorful in the more, you know, charismatic sense. Yeah, yeah, the game already looked good. I think that's what I'm trying to get at, is that it looked good, and this helps it look even better. You know, in my humble opinion. Anyway, got a lot of requests for space, so let's go to space. Wait, this isn't space. This is Hippo Snot Land. But yeah, so basically how this works is you can only get into Space Land if you get the top exit, which is something both Mario games kind of like, both Mario Land games kind of like to do. You know, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Well. I'm gonna do the level normally, I guess, and then I'll I'll show you what happens if you don't if you don't beat it with the bubble. It's really easy to beat it with the bubble. You just hold A and float to the right. I was trying to, you know, actually play the level, but Okay, so you can do that, but do you have to like get hit to go in there? That's pretty weird. I don't think it ever goes away. I think this game is pretty nice about it. What's over there? Yeah, about what I figured would be over here. Two one-ups, not bad, not bad. Oh yeah, and by the way, this game is the first appearance of the man, the legend, Wario. This was his first appearance ever. And the world was changed for the better that day. But yeah, unusually, like, he kind of became an anti-hero after this. Is Dustin from the South? Yes, I am. Yeah, um, a lot of... Oh, I just realized I have the bubble back. I can get to space after all. But yeah, uh... So Wario became more of an anti-hero after this, as opposed to this game where he's outright the villain. 
I mean, y'all, you guys know that. Everybody knows that. So a funny story, though, is that my first exposure to the Mario Land games was, bizarrely enough, like a module file, like the kind you play on a computer. And I think it was the- oh no, 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 don't go- no! <laughs> Rip. But, you know, the kind you play on a computer, and I was- I just saw the name Mario Land, and I think it was the Muda theme it might have been. And, uh, yeah, so that was the first I had heard of the game, and it was kind of a mystical experience for me. And then years later, my mom, on her way back from the next town over, picked me up Super Mario Land on the GameCube. On the GameCube? Why'd I say GameCube? GameCube, Game boy. Well, I mean, you can play it on a GameCube if you want to. Nothing's stopping you. Yeah, and then I got Mario Land 2 and Mario World, late Mario World, Wario Land. God, what's wrong with me tonight? But anyway, we're in space, and we have a space suit, which is like the only time that Mario, bo it bo the game bothers to give an explanation why Mario can breathe in space. You know, Mario Galaxy, what a, well, that was a good use of the bunny, the bunny power-up. But yeah, M Mario Galaxy, why can Mario breathe in space? We don't know, he just can. But he can't breathe in water, though. Except in this game, he can breathe in water, so... I don't know, don't don't question it, alright? We at Nintendo do not care that you are confused as to why Mario can do these things. I mean, it doesn't feel very slow to me, but it is a bit floatier than your average, average Mario game. Though granted, here especially, because it's the space- oh, the space suit changes colors, that's- that's interesting. I mean, I guess I don't know what I expected, but... But yeah, it's just a- it's a game with a lot of cute little touches, like, you know, Mario wears a space suit in this world, in this world alone. It's a- it's a Mario game with a lot of character. And I always love that about it. I'd say its biggest flaw is that, yeah, admittedly, I suppose they couldn't make it too fast because of the screen size, yes, or the resolution to be more precise, but, uh, but yeah, I do really like it. I think it's a good game, and I was, when I first got it, I was very enamored with it. Also, I don't know if I've already passed it. I probably have. But there is a secret exit. There are secret exits in this game. Yeah, I have. But I, I'm gonna go back and get the secret exit. But yeah, it's not a very long game. It's probably gonna be one, two streams tops. Two streams if I'm just taking a really long time with it. But it, it's not. it's not long. And yeah, and you can get a lot of one-ups, really. Because space, space world here is just, space zone is just two levels. I mean, other worlds tend to be a little longer. Okay, so I know what to look for for the secret exit. I just wasn't paying attention, because I guess I was rambling on about this game. I'm looking for a planet in the background, I think. I could probably get that, but I'm gonna... I'm not gonna stall too much. No, it wasn't here. I'll know it when I see it. I will know it when I see it. Yeah, it's right about here by the checkpoint. I think. I think you gotta hit a hidden block. Was it here? 
I mean, it was by a planet, I remember that much. Oh, yep, there it is. And you do that. And there should be another one around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So, just gotta do some, do some splody space jump. Another thing that's interesting about this is that oh no, <laughs> that I'm bad. <laughs> is that you don't get one ups automatically from getting a hundred coins. You have to like go and play a roulette game to get them with with the coins. Oh no, yes, <laughs> maybe I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Oh, there was another one right there. Yeah, that that helps. That definitely helps. And another weird mechanic is you can hold up you can hold up the jump higher. Which is a little odd. Wario Land kept that for a few games. <laughs> okay, I think we're out of the woods. Yeah, there we go. Let me check something then on Twitch real quick. Oh yeah, and that's that's freaking brutal. Moon's not happy about that. I need to go to my channel and check something real quick. I need to go to Oh hey, I actually got a few uh few viewers here. A couple silent dudes, but you know, that's okay. You can lurk if you want to. And then, the moment I say that, one of them stops lurking. <laughs> uh, and, and their name is Lurk Studios. <laughs> anyway, secret level. The bonus. And I think it's just a lot of coins, mostly. You might be able to drop down one of these holes to get surprises. But you don't want to. You don't. Well, maybe you want to fall down this one, does it? It looks like there's hidden goodies. Yes. See here, it's just like six coins or so, but it technically qualifies still as hidden goodies. Ooh, ooh. Goodies are goodies. That's what that's what I always say. Except I've never said it to any of you. So so don't definitely don't search through Discord looking for times that I've said that. Oh 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 nope! I'm going down. I'm going down. <laughs> it's fine though. It's fine. The bonus levels in this game are mostly just for, just for like some quick rewards, but the jam, the jam is starting. Yeah, and that part where you couldn't, uh, you could only jump once, like you couldn't float forever. Yeah, in this level you can float forever, so have fun with that. Just disregard all the previously established rules. These stars do not want to make Mario invincible. They probably could. Like, they're not physically unable. But they just don't want to. Um, it's used in a lot of Mario fan games. Maybe there. Oh, did Mario Sticker Star, Paper Mario Sticker Star have a remix of this? Well, maybe it did one thing, right? Yeah, there's a there's about two games that I will openly uh I will openly mock repeatedly, and that's uh Paper Mario Sticker Star and Shadow the Hedgehog. 
Otherwise, I like to think I'm pretty lenient towards video games. You may disagree. But those two, I will... I will, you know, smack talk all day long. I cannot be stopped. You are powerless to stop me. Somehow, I did not take damage from that. Also, the checkpoint's a bell for some reason. I mean, it works for me if it works for you. I, I won't complain if you guys don't. Okay. okay. So, time for the boss. And you may recognize this fellow. It's Tatanga! The main villain of Super Mario Land 1. He's on Wario's payroll, and I'm taking a lot of damage. There you go. Oh yeah, and heads up, I think most of you guys in the chat right now know this, but just in case. Smash Ultimates had a pretty major leak, so be careful on the internet if you want to remain unspoiled. Pardon me. Also, it's cool that he's a he's a spirit, even though Mike Jones will never be. Please, Sakurai, my kingdom. My kingdom for Mike Jones as a spirit. Also, there's... I forgot, there's also... Everything is really big land. Oh, I didn't mean to go in here. There's a preview. Oh, my leg. I gotta move my leg. Okay, and yeah, Mario just has a giant effigy to himself. You know, there's a very low-hanging fruit joke I could make there, but I won't do it. And I like that... You know, it's slightly bluer underwater. The ground is. It looks really... It looks nice. I enjoy it. This hack is well done. I I give it a thumbs up, firmly. But only with one hand. It doesn't get two thumbs up. Maybe, like, if I had half a thumb, then it could get, like, a half thumbs up. And I'm already taking good damage. You know, actually, after this level, I should probably go spend some of my... No, I'll wait till I cap out. Why not? I'll, I'll wait till I hit 999 so we can play the big slots. So we can, we can gamble the big money. Yeah, and you can definitely, in this music, in this game's music, you can definitely hear the, like, the seed of what would become Wario Land. Except Wario Land has fart tuba, or at least the closest approximation thereof that the Game Boy can provide. Um, <laughs> I think he does. Yeah, the, the enemies in this game are weird. But I like it. Oh yeah, that's right, I do- I think they are. All the things that mi that you miss when you're playing in monochrome. Oh, money bag, money bag, I want it. Gimme. Gimme. Er oh, no, no, okay. I don't want to have to do excessive amounts of swimming. Is there anything over here? Anything in the zone? I don't think so. I think it's just this. What about over here? Oh, did Twitch die? Did Twitch get exploded? Oh no, it's just Miles. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take a carrot. And 
And what's up, Dak? And there's, a, there's another secret exit in this level. The sub. No, the... The geometry of this world always kind of... Always kind of baffled me. Like, are we... It, it looked like we were underwater, you know, or it looked like we were underneath an island. Like, are we in the tor... Are we in the turtle? Or are... Did the turtle just, like, eat us, spit us out somewhere else? What's the deal? What's... How does this zone operate? Oh, and there's another carrot, just in case you needed it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Toid Toidles. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is the island under... Oh yeah, also, Kirby enemy, just for no adequately explained reason. Just because they can. Granted, I mean, Nintendo used to do stuff like that back in the Game Boy era a lot. Like, they would, uh, famously Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening had a bunch of, uh, a bunch of, like, cameos from other Nintendo characters. Including Wart. You had, uh, like, Kirby in there. Kirby was an enemy. There were, like, Thwomps. Yeah, I appreciate the reference to Mario Land 2, even if it didn't get its own theme. I really would have enjoyed a, a Mario Land 2 theme in uh, Super Mario Maker. I mean, Wario, Mario Land 1 too. Oh. The secret exit's a little, little weird. A little strange. I'll try again. I might have to clear my throat in a second. Woo. Woo, lad. I should set up a hotkey to just mute my mic. I mean, I guess my mic has a switch on it, so... I mean, not like a Nintendo Switch. Hang on. Okay, yeah, that's better. I'm good now. Now I'm operating at full percent. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy... I'm gonna let this guy come through. Oh, no. He, like, revolves. Oh, no! <laughs> this is a very particular hitbox this fellow has. Like, it, it's very exact. And my mic peaked. That's not good. It's probably not as much of a problem as I think it is, but it's still... It's worrisome to me. Well, I mean, the good news is that Fish is a skeleton, so that means at some point he wrecked his own face. Or someone else wrecked his face for him. Unfortunately, he tortures me beyond the grave. Yeah, this is a, this is a surprisingly tricky setup. I should probably duck once I get over there. And no, I am not going to ignore the secret exit. I'm going to get it. I used to be able to, uh... I used to be able to get past that guy no problem. It just kind of shows how long it's been since I've played this game. Oop, oop. Yang, I think you gotta be small. I don't think the whole Mario jump repeatedly while ducked trick really works as well in this one. Because whenever you jump, you uh, come you come out into a spin jump. 
Yeah, I mean, it could be. But I mean, this is a legitimately kind of weird setup. Maybe I'm just too afraid. And now I got killed by the spike because I was too afraid of the fish. You know, I have an idea. I have an idea for how to get past this guy. I got this. This is the run. <laughs> this is not the run. You know what, I'll try getting in there big. Just for the sake of it. Yeah, that's how you know I'm back. I'm back, baby. Oh, it just outright gives you a carrot. Like even if you're even if you're small, it gives you a carrot. Let's let's give it a try. Let's let's see let's see if I can get in there big, but I don't think I can. But I'm gonna try anyway. And then give up very quickly. Yeah, when you try to when you try to do the whole jumping thing, this is what you get out of it. Let's see, can I get in there as not bunny though? Yeah, the trick is I gotta get in there like facing to uh I gotta get in there facing backwards. Which is easier said than done. Because Mario has, uh, his inertia is quite good. Yeah, it doesn't take a lot to make him turn around in this. Okay, so go here, hit right down. Well, okay, that disproved that theory. Yep, guess, guess it's just, that's what you gotta do. Alright, but I feel good about this one. This is my moment. Okay, I have a plan to get past this guy. I have a plan. And the plan is to go over here and book it! Okay, that worked. Now there's a shark. Don't get impatient. And there you go. Finally did it. Only took me 30 tries, so don't worry about it. And then I die immediately in the bonus level. Oh, I, I like this. There's a there's a W here, but you have to hit it and change it to be an M. Because it spells out Wario, but you want it to spell out Mario. Now to, now to get some of those lives I lost back, hopefully. Yeah, this, that one's not really worth it. I'm gonna just leave it there. I know, I know. It's heresy, but I'm, I'm doing it. Not that one, though. I'm going back to that one. Okay, now it's not nearly as treacherous. Because you can just float. 
Yeah, it's like... So, so Mr. Miyamoto, uh, we want your input on this Game Boy game we're making. So, like, what, what do you know that flies? Uh, rabbit. Uh, Mr. Miyamoto, rabbit. And then Mr. Yakoi has to go back and take his headache medicine. Oh, so, so rabbits fly in Japan. It's good to know. Can't help but feel like the us other countries got stiffed on the whole end of the rabbit deal, you know what I mean? We got the cheap, like, mass-produced rabbits. The budget model. Yeah, I don't know if I want fire flower. I think I want to stick with rabbit. And there's not a lot over here, from the looks of it. I used to play this game a lot. Like, I probably played through this like two or three times. Oop. You know, if I was smart, I probably could have chained, uh, chain that together with, uh... Okay, so we've entered the cargo hold where they keep all the Gordos. Go down the funnel. Pardon me, again. Okay, that honestly scared me a bit. Okay, so this is just like a detour for a fire flower. You know, if that's something you're into. If that's how you get your kicks. And there we got the money. We got the money we need, and we finally capped out. Which means we gotta go gamble in a little bit. First, I didn't know what to do with all the money. I tried burying it, shredding it, and burning it. Come on, you all knew it was coming. It had, it had been too long and since I had invoked the law of square pants. walk like molasses. Okay, this is the goal, I think. Yes. Okay, let's go gamble. Just reset our money down to nothing. Maybe get some lives in the process. Yes. The, the Hill Casino. Yeah, 20 up, that's pretty good. I mean, 50 up would have been great, but can't complain about 20. Especially since that's more than you'd get from a thousand coins normally. Also, it kills me the kind of jerky scrolling that... Hang on, let me let me demonstrate this. It kills me the kind of jerky scrolling that Game Boy Advance... Game Boy... Not Game Boy Advance. Um, just 
Game Boy games have sometimes, like, <laughs> Pokemon kind of has it, but this, this turtle just looks like he's freaking out. Might be more visible at 60 FPS. Anyway, gotta enter the whale. Again, there's a joke I will refrain from making here. You're all thinking it. Now, now that I've said that, if you would have, if you would have gotten the joke, it's in your head right now. Oh, I, I don't know, but I, I know Pokemon's kind of like that. Like, Pokemon kind of has weird scrolling, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's a Game Boy thing, but it, it could be an emulator issue. But granted, I'm using a... How do you, how do you pronounce this? Gambat? Gambate? Either way, I'm using... I think that's considered one of the most accurate Game Boy emulators, so... I mean, it could just be something to do with, like, the increased processing. Bambate, or gam Gambate. Yeah, so, I don't think, I don't think the inside of a whale looks like this, personally. Though, granted, I know that Hollywood and the video game industry has had a hard time getting the inside of whales correct. Trust me, I'm a whaleologist. Yes, that is the name of the profession. The sack. And a squid came out of the sack. Or, no, that's an octopus, not a squid. A lot easier than Tatanga. I have murdered that small octopus's father in cold blood, or mother. I don't know, it could be either. I'm not one to assume. Alright, so which world now? You go to tree land, robot land, big land, or spook land. Alright, so first response was tree, so I'll go tree. You know, this is probably the longest world in the game. The others are like... Like this and ro Robot Town. Everything else kind of got the... The short end of the stick, didn't it? <laughs> well, no, actually, Big big Town's kind of... Big, big Land's kind of big. Fittingly enough. Pretty sure that's a Mega Man enemy. Or Frog the Bell Tolls. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the game, this game just kind of takes whatever sprite they were in before and flips it upside down for their death sprite. Like, I don't think it has a special special sprite for that, but that makes sense. They had limited, they had very limited space to work with on the Game Boy. You had to make do with what you had. And yeah, I think Luigi can actually make it out of here, which is part of the reason why I'm kind of refraining from playing as Luigi. I'm worried Luigi might be too good. He's too good for this game. Maybe eventually, like, I'll just go back and do a uh, all-Luigi playthrough if I feel like re-streaming re this. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll probably just do that. Like, I'll just do this all-Mario, and then if I feel like playing it again, I'll do all-Luigi. Alright, 
so what are we gonna get? We're gonna get a we're, we're gonna get another completely redundant item. And yes, there's another secret here. And yes, that's a cowfish. Truly. Oh, oh. That's all right, we didn't need that anyway. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I do wanna, at some point, like maybe early next year, I would like to go through and uh, stream all or most of the Mega Man X games. That would be, that would be a fun time, I think. Something down here. Yeah, this isn't the secret exit, but I don't think, but... Oh god, this this is such a weird part. <laughs> is there anything to this, or is this just for fl yeah? It's just for flavor. I think for the secret exit, you might have to have rabbit though. You gotta get, yeah, basically it's up over there. I might, I don't know, I might be able to, uh, no. Lui Luigi definitely can, but Mario needs rabbit. And he needs to not fall directly into spikes. So when I get rabbit again, I'll come back here. I mean, granted you can get it from the room below, but... You also overestimate my ability to... That's the sound of failure. You overestimate my ability to get through that with the, uh, the bunny outfit. The rabbit. Anyway, now we're in Leaf Zone. That's not actually the name of it, I just made that up. You know, there are some there are some regular Mario enemies in here. There's that guy, Mick that guy. There's a thing over there. Can he get to it? Probably not from here. Without not without the bunny. Yeah, this game just hands one up one ups out like they're candy, really. I got 39 lives. Nothing to worry about. Now, I forget how you're supposed to defeat those guys. I mean, I don't think they give a, like a big reward here like they do in Wario Land. Also, by the way, I think most of you who are in the chat know this, but you know, just for anybody who might be watching later or just in case, I ended up getting some new streaming gear, including RGB cables for my Super Nintendo, so... Super Nintendo and Super Game Boy... ...are going to look a lot better in the future, when I stream them. And I'm thinking about doing Donkey Kong Country soon to celebrate His Majesty getting into Smash. I realize it's a little late, but again, I've been dealing with stuff for about three months. I just, I haven't had the opportunity. I wanted to stream some stuff for Halloween, but that didn't really work out, did it? Stream the DKC cartoon. I mean, it's up on YouTube for free. Like, legally. So, I mean, technically, I don't even have to. And yeah, I also would like to stream Simon's Quest at some point soon, even though I realize that will be 
complete pain and misery. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I've never really tried to beat that game. I'm honestly shocked that so many of those live streams are still up. Like, like I play five seconds of a Spongebob song and I get like a copyright notice. And yet, and yet, there's our channels that that are playing Ed Ed Nettie 24 seven, and they're they're just fine. They are just a okay. Though granted, honestly, you would think that that would be a good market for a lot of like TV channels to get into. Now that I'm thinking about it, just like have live streams up on YouTube all the time of the of your shows, and just like get the ad revenue. I mean, some people have their own streaming services, though. Though, granted, it's also a pain in the- like, I'm of two minds when it comes to that kind of thing. Like, on one hand, I think it's good to have competition, and it's good to kind of, you know, it- it, it breeds a better- a better product in the end, I think. But, um... At the same time, it's also kind of a pain in the butt to have all the things you want to watch split. Split between, like, five or six different streaming services. I don't think I want to kill these, uh, Koopas. Also, something you may notice is that in this game, Koopas act like Koopas instead of exploding. I mean, isn't there a star somewhere? I mean, I think there's a star somewhere in this area. Is it later? Did I, did I miss it? I don't think I missed it. Also, interestingly... I mean, technically those are more like explodey buzzy beetles than anything else. But you know what? I'm not going to be pedantic about it. They serve functionally the same person. Per persis. The purpose. Yeah, if there's a star, I've missed it. <laughs> I got 46 lives, it's not like it's exactly a huge problem. Also, there's a really cool glitch you can do here, but I'm probably not gonna do it, you know, just, just yet. But basically you can scroll over to Missing No Land. Fireproof Bees. So should I should I just do the Nicolas Cage voice now or should I wait a little bit? Oh. Oh. Dry bones be. And thwomp thwomp be. I guess it turns out that all Mushroom Kingdom creatures are descendants of bees in some fashion. Or maybe bees are descendants of everything else. Ooh. Yeah, give me this stuff. Give me this stuff. Aw, oh, very close, very close, but I goofed it up. Oh. Alright, that thing. That thing's fireproof for some reason. The fireproof spike slug. Heard about it all the time on the Nature Channel, Animal Planet. Yeah, I pretty much do that completely and utterly beyond repair. But you can kill him. If you're careful. gonna take up a lot of the stream. 
but I'm greedy. It just it's just like Sonic Mania. And once you beat the game, you unlock it as an option, like the Insta Shield. Ooh. Dustin Mike. Got two one ups out of it, not too bad. Oh, but now we can get more. Give me enemies. I am Mario. I am sated only by slaughter. And losing my, uh, my power up in a really stupid way. I don't know, that one just felt right to me. And I get Fire Flower again, as is tradition. Now I gotta fight a bird. I have no use for that. I don't think it even gives you points. Not even points. Oh, it's the owl. I love him so. It's Biokinton. Not really, though. Probably not actually Biokinton. The probability of that being Biokinton is very remote. Oh. I regret nothing. Yeah, honestly, they managed to get a pretty convincing, like, hoot noise out of a Game Boy. Props. Props for hoot. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, honestly, I I probably actually would have been really excited about Bio Kitten as opposed to uh Piranha Plant cuz that would have been like super unexpected. Like see Piranha Plant was unexpected, but Bio Kitten would have been so unexpected that you can kind of, honestly kind of have to admire how deep they dug for it. You know, in retrospect, you know, we got we got Gino, we got uh Captain Toad a lot of people want. But maybe we should get Tatanga. I will say I'm very glad Daisy's is in Smash, but I'm also slightly disappointed that she doesn't seem to reference Mario Land at all, given that she's an echo of Peach. All right, where now? But yeah, it'd be nice if like Daisy had the Super Ball or something. That would be interesting. Pardon. So we did space, we did tree, and we did turtle. So we got big, we got robot, and we got spook. Nothing. All right, you got you got five seconds, or I'm going into robot.
That's it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the fire flower, sure. I'm a metal head, a metal head, a metal head, I'm a metal head. Did you guys cringe when I sang that? I hope so. That is my only purpose here. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, the Donkey Kong Country cartoon actually had some pretty good songs in it. Like, I know it is commonly a subject of mockery, but there is some, there are some things it did very right. You know, I've always wondered why Cartoons, like especially that one, video game cartoons, uh, why well, they just like to change the designs of the characters so much, like, like exactly what was wrong with Funky that you had to change him to look like that? Like what was wrong with Funky Kong? I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess he's kind of like cosplaying Donkey Kong, but, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, Candy Kong, though, you can change candy all you want. Like, because candy is kind of alarming, even in the original game, so let's... Let's, let's not... Let's not pretend that the cartoon exactly did her a huge disservice. Though, Dixie... I, I don't really get the treatment of Dixie. Like, Dixie's original design has something, like, appealing, kind of about the colors, and, uh, it's just not really there with the cartoon design. Oh, oh, right, gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, Candy Kong is disturbing, and she's, like, one of the few Kongs that I'm not really hurt has not come back. I mean, I'd like to see a couple of the other guys, though. We're, we're getting there. Like, we got the return of K. Rule and Smash, and we got Funky Kong in Tropical Freeze, so we're getting back to, uh, some of the supporting cast again. But yeah, Candy can, Candy can stay gone for as far as I'm concerned. And yes, I know what people say about this particular level. <laughs> I mean, Tiny Kong bothers me, but kind of for a different way. Or kind of in a different way. It's because the redesign doesn't make any sense. She's, she's, she's Dixie's little sister. So why is Dixie the same, but Tiny Kong has inexplicably gone through ape puberty? Now I'm gonna keep my, my rabbit. But yeah, um, I'll probably stream Donkey Kong Country once I, uh... Once I've gotten that Skart Splitter that I've been waiting for. Uh, because it has, uh, 3.5 millimeter audio out, in addition to, uh, analog audio out, which is very nice. It's... It's very good. I am looking forward to it. But yeah, so, it would make it a lot easier to stream out of that Frame Meister. I mean, to be fair, I'm glad he didn't redesign Dixie Kong, because if he did, I would have rioted. You know, she's adorable. Especially in Tropical Freeze. You know, speaking of which, speaking of the supporting cast just being gone for 
whatever reason. Rest in peace any animal buddy that is not Rambi. Like, if your name is On Guard, Winky, uh, you know, Espresso, you know, that, that, that elephant from Donkey Kong Country 3, if, if you are any of those people and, or just not Rambi, then rest, rest in peace, because we're not going to see you again for a very long time, I'm sure. Oh yeah, Rad, Radley too. Just, just everybody that's not Rambi. And I don't get why that is. I mean, I'm gonna put it this way. I think that the new Donkey Kong Country games are very good. Like, I think they are excellent platformers and I would recommend them to you any day of the week. But, but they did change a lot of stuff that I feel didn't really need fixing. And I remember being actually kind of salty about that back when Returns first came out. It's just kind of like, like, okay, first thing. A big, a big mechanic in Donkey Kong Country, as far as its physics go, is that if you roll into an enemy, you increase in speed so that you can like keep rolling through enemies. You know, get through the whole get through the whole like string of enemies in one roll. That's not a thing in the new ones. And I don't get why that is. Though that being said, one thing they did get right is that you can still jump out of a roll. And Cranky even comments on it, saying like we apes have no need for the laws of physics. <laughs> So I appreciate that, at least. And yeah, I mean, I kind of liked the old, like, follow-along system, where the Kongs would follow behind you. I mean, I mean, I, and the, the power-up system's pretty nice, I guess, you know, like, especially with Tropical Freeze and, you know, the different Kongs having different properties. But I don't know, I just kind of miss having them follow, follow around. Though that's nitpicking, I guess. Point is, good games, but they changed a lot that I probably would not have. Also, just picking up Mario by the back of his neck here. Just just grabbing him by like the neck fat and carrying him across to the goal. Ouch, that the hurt! Yes, it is, I think. And welcome to Legoland, except it's not. It's in and b land Distinct product. Do not sue. Except they did sue. But Nintendo still ended up winning, I think. Yeah, so if you don't if you don't know, like, okay, so basically there's an Easter egg over this way. Yeah, it says N and B. So if you're wondering what that is, like, there was a point, I think, back before they made video games that Nintendo was doing, you know, toys. And one of them was N and B blocks. And their big marketing thing was that they had rounded pieces, I think. And look, basically Lego didn't like that, so they took them to court. But I think Nintendo ended up winning because uh, the rounded pieces were enough to distinguish the product. Something like that. And yes, there's the fact that Robot Mario has like Legos in his head, but you know, we're not going to talk about that. There's also the fact that Mario even has a robot Mario, but we're not going to talk about that. Aw, oh, dang. <laughs> and we're fighting the three little pigs for some reason. I mean, can you come up with a reason why we shouldn't be? Not. Oh. 
Yeah, I mean, we got we got the you know the Koopalings were gone for a while, but now the Koopalings are back. You know, we've had enough of the Koopalings. Bring back the three little pig heads. I knew, I knew that meme was coming, and I wasn't... Why'd I do that? Can, can a psychologist tell me why I hit the A button there? Yeah, by, this, by standards of most Mario bosses, I think Mario Land 2 actually has some really good bosses. Probably gonna die. Oh yeah, and this is the weirdo. Oh, <laughs> with the superpower to half his uh, half his hitbox at any given point at will. Yeah, Mar New Super Mario Brothers DS had some uh, okay bosses. You know, had some decent bosses. But I think there was a Reddit post, I think it was. It might or it might have been an MFGG post, I don't remember. But um Basically Basically the Koopalings were cool at first until Nintendo realized that they were basically the perfect get out of creativity free card. And then abused the ever loving heck out of them. But yeah, stuff stuff from this game doesn't get referenced in the Mario series a lot. And that's kind of sad. There we go. And I think from here on out I'm just gonna go like counterclockwise, so I'll go to Spookland next. Mm, pardon me. Yeah, I'll probably be able to beat this in one stream. Like, I've been going for about an hour, so it shouldn't take, but maybe, like, one more. So it shouldn't take, like, maybe about one more hour to beat the game, I think. Also, there's two secret exits in this world. So immediately after I say it probably won't take on. Oh, and I love this. The, like, the freaking Jason Voorhees Goombas. Would that, by chance, have anything to do with why it's not in Smash, or is it, would that be unrelated? Oh, <laughs> I got afraid. Oh, I'm doing real good. Real good gameplay. Unrelated. Yeah, I figured as much. Yeah, that makes sense. I knew that, but I forgot because I'm still an idiot. But yeah, I don't know, like... You know, if I was working at a game company, I'd be referencing other games left and right. You couldn't stop me. You would be powerless to stop me. D Dustin, why does Mario Odyssey 2 need to have... Dustin, why does Mario Odyssey 2 need to have the boss from, like, Mario Teaches Typing in it? Shut up, old man. I do what I want. <laughs> Mario teaches typing probably didn't have any bosses. Though granted, that's... That's not the only thing. That was wrong with what I just said, so... 
Yeah, there's these guys. Oh, and there's the cl classic, classic Japanese trope of umbrella with leg. You think I'm kidding, but it actually is. Look it up. A ghost. A wisp. A specter. Oh, trust me, Super Engine Keys is gonna be filled with nonsense. Believe you me. Oh, and there's a glitch in this game where if you pause, like, right as a screen transition's happening and exit out of the level, you can also go to Missing No Land. There are a few different ways to go to Missing No Land in this game. Also, I, th I think this is the only game where if you collect a mushroom, but you're at, like, a higher tier power-up, then the mushroom will overwrite that. Now, I could be wrong about that, but that's from what I remember. Oh yeah, the one downside to being Rabbit is that Rabbit cannot do the spin jump. I think there's a secret exit in here. Or may maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Oh. Or maybe there's like a... Wasn't there... Something, I think. Might be down here. Might be down over there. I'm gonna go back and just, just check, make sure. Just make sure. Ah! Oh. Ah, I knew it. I knew there was stuff. Oh god, it's a fish. It's a very panicked fish. You know, one joke I really love, or like one little gag I really adore in the Mario series, is how the f a lot of a lot of creatures that live underwater wear goggles. It's really it's really dumb, but it amuses me. Yeah, there we go. I knew there was something. Dark and nighty. Yeah, the problem is that when you bounce off of an enemy, you have to press the button again in order to start floating. Fly backwards like I don't care, because I don't... Oh yeah, th I think this is what I was thinking of. Yeah, pretty much like candy. Oh, that's right, there's not a goal over here. Yeah, float really slowly. Float really slowly into the goal. Okay, fine, I'll stop.
So I probably need to... Do I have a hundred? Oh. <laughs> Good thing you can just do that. Okay, we're gonna speed run. We're gonna go fast. No, we're not. Better hit that bell just in case. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, see, this is about what I was afraid of. Get me the heck out of here. Oh, but I can get rabbit again. And yet another extra life. My goal is to blow up and act like no. Uh, my goal is to have 99 lives by the time this game is over. Or at least close to it. Yeah, there we go. Now I can make my dreams a reality. My dreams of indiscriminate slaughter. Because I am Super Mario. And I hurt people. Mario is a sociopath. Surprise. Su 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 subscribe to Game Theory. Oh, and I like this. The music's a remix of a Mario Land 1 song. Oh yeah, uh, technically, yeah, technically the Mario 2, the Mario 2 Starman retrieval system is a thing in this, except instead of collecting cherries, it's defeating enemies. And there's another secret exit in this level, but I'm 99% sure I know exactly where it is. Yeah, it's like right about here. Colonel, I've infiltrated the base. Oh, and we see mushrooms for the first time in the game. And we see a one-up mushroom that I'm probably not gonna try to actually get. Oh, da, 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 da. All right, so which one of these got it in there? Oh, none of them. None of them. I've been gnomed. God, I'm just making the stanky references tonight. Oh, and after this, I gotta go gamble. 
Remember kids, Dustin encourages gambling. As previously established. In, like, what what was it? What stream do we establish that? Was it Sonic Adventure? Son Sonic 2? Where did, where did we do that? Uh, no! Okay, I got that one. I'm satisfied. like it. Oh, and as you do the secret exit, you get booze and they dance to the music. Anyway, let's go gamble. And then we'll come back and beat the boss. And then we'll go on to the last world. Alright, come on, baby. Wow! Unreal! Well, you win some, you lose some. Who runs that gambling thing? Isn't this Mario's Island? Is Mario, like, gambling money to himself? <laughs> well, I mean, right now, I guess he's gambling money away to Wario. I don't know if we should be doing that. I don't know if we should be funding Wario. How do you get, like, a casino into a hill? Like, that, I don't think that's a thing you can do. Especially not with without support beams. But then again, this is Mario where everything floats in midair with absolutely no explanation given. Oh yeah, here's your nice hint about the secret exit, by the way. Let's just, we just make one of those uh, attention all gamers videos and it's for Mario Land 2, but it says that Wario needs your help and we just never bring any attention to that. I don't know what the heck that thing is. Freaking me the heck out, that's what it is. Aha, floating mines do not scare me. This thing does, though. I want no part of whatever that is. Oh, it's a leech. Do leeches look like that? Admittedly, I have not... I have not gone particularly far out of my way to ever look at a leech. I mean, I've seen them in cartoons and video games, but I've never gone out of my way to look at, like, a real-life picture of a leech. And I'm still not convinced I should. Oh, no. D dang it. We're playing Mickey Mouse now. Lizards in jars. That's a little weird for a Mario game. Oh, 
Oh, so like birds, leeches aren't real. Ooh, that was almost bad. Alright. The witch lady. Who honestly kind of looks like Waluigi's grandma. Just boil the coin in the pot. Alright, just one more. Just one more. Yeah, sadly, you're probably right. The macro zone. Where everything's big and so are my dreams. Oh, is that supposed to be lava? I always assumed that was water. Then again, it's kind of weird. I mean, lava isn't that pointy either, so... I don't know. It, that, that stuff down there can be whatever it wants to be. I'm not gonna criticize its life choices. However, I will not partake in them. Ideally. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's like, it's just the old video game. What the heck is that? We don't know. Just don't touch it, okay? Listen, here, we, we here at Nintendo are just as in the dark about what this stuff is as you are. So just, just, just let us be. Just leave us alone. Oh. Great. Wondrous. Alright, so here is a trick. The, the trick is, if you jump right there, there's an invisible block, so you don't want that. And it makes it impossible to go in here. And you want to come in here, because there are goodies. In the form of more one-ups. And then one coin. Because we, we don't want you to know it. See, like, here's, here's what would happen. And then you can't go in there. It's quite a nasty trick. It's a simple spell, but quite unbreakable. And also, Mario's fireballs are kind of huge in this game. Am I the only one who thinks that? I mean, it might just be the fact that they have outlines, but they just look really big. Okay, there's a secret exit in this one, and I think that's the last one of the game. Yet, I kind of forgot what it was. I'll find it. Don't worry. Guys, we'll get that secret exit. We will acquire it, much like I have acquired this yeast substance. That is then cut up into pieces and typically used in addition to various meats. 
Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm good on... I'm good with this. Let's do it. Let's... Oh, no, we're not gonna do it. Nope, didn't do it. Don't worry, we'll get him next time. I'm a bunny, so I can't get that. And then he gave me a Vegemite sandwich. Get over here! Get over here! No, we don't want that, actually. Where was this? There's a secret exit in here. But I am utterly in the darkest where. Can't go back. Ah! Yeah, this... I have forgotten. I'll probably go back and then look through it. Just get the first one. Oh yes, and that advances me in my quest to have infinite lives. So it's okay. What is it? Yeah, let's let's see, let's see here. All right, gang, let's split up and look for clues. This might be one where I want the fire flower, but I didn't see the place where you'd want to use it. I feel like there was a place though. Oh, well, ain't got it no more. That dream is dead. Macro land where my dreams are big and so is the crushing disappointment when they are not realized. Alright, so let's 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 investigate. There's nothing over here. Nothing over here. Maybe it has to do with that question mark blog. I, I doubt it, but Let's see what's in this. I think it might just be a bag of money. No, it's another star. <laughs> Okay, this is back here, so... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, but I can uh, go back and get this again. So that's fun. Oh, and, but you can't go back up. Hmm. I know there's one in here. Or wait, maybe it's not- no, maybe it's not in here, actually. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Because now, now that I'm thinking about it, I remember there being, like, books where the secret exit was. But here, let me, uh, let me advance my cause here. No, I swear it's there, though. Here, we'll come back. We'll come back later. And by later, I mean, like, in two levels. The miniature conveyor belt. Mankind's greatest invention. Now, you can fit one in your home. I mean, there's a 
fire flower spot over there. Get some more one-ups. We might be able to make this. We might be able to get to 99 in time. We might just be able to do it. Maybe just. Oh, uh, but you can go up here. It's, it's just a one-up, but you can do it. They say. It's not here either. Very peculiar. I'm slightly mystified. All right, so there's the boss level. Let's let's go back. No, no, maybe it's in the first one actually. Yeah, it might actually be. All I know is there's a secret exit in one of the first two levels. And dead gum, we are gonna find it. I'm gonna keep my, uh, gonna keep my fire flower for now until we, until we know what's up. Until we know exactly what's going on here. Or at least until we know enough about the situation where we can pretend. Alright, there's another one right there. I don't think we can come back from this. Might as well get the one-ups over here again. Because... I desire them. We're so close, you know, might as well. Alright. Now, now I'm gonna figure it out. And then we just got the final level to do. So, you know, I don't mind uh, wasting a little time trying to figure this out. Aha, it's up there. Good thinking. Or at least I think this is it. It's probably it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, but there's another level here I forgot about. Kind of acts as an alternate path to uh, the last level of the world, which is interesting. Step on these weenies here. Well, I didn't get that, but I had the right assumption. Which 
pretentious to say that there was a one-up in it. Oh yeah, this is terrible. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, that, that one doesn't actually exist, I glitched it. Okay. You know, if you insist, I am not one to argue. Oh yeah, here's where I was thinking of the books, though. Oh, oh no, it's the little baby witch. But I still got it. Gross spider web. But it's a very tiny spider web when you think about it. Like, Alright, so I'm assuming that Mario is small here, given the overworld. And not that the world is actually big, like this is just a regular house. Oh yes! Pardon me. I never know if that picks up, but I prefer to err on the side of caution. Also, it's kind of a jip that you can't grab it before the witch appears. Cause I had that. You know I did. Hmm. Dang it, Nintendo, get your lore straight. I don't come to Mario for this subpar lore. And now the boss is... Quite literally just a rat. taken care of. Now we just have to go back and claim what is ours. But first, I might gamble to a little bit to get those last four lives I want. Go in with 200, see what we get. Alright. <laughs> and yes, I noticed what my coin count is. You gotta be kidding me. You are you are joshing. You are having a laugh, a giggle. All right, let's take down Wario. And Wario's giant balls of steel. Or are these technically Mario's balls of steel? Oh, er. Oh, whoa. This is a cool level though, and it has good music. Oh, never mind, I hate it. I hate it. No, I don't hate it. I just love it slightly less than I did five seconds ago. I 
remember having a lot of trouble with uh, Wario's castle the first time I played this game. Oh, oh. <laughs> Darn it. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it, I don't think so, but I'm playing this with an NES controller. Just felt right to me. Oh no, no, that's not what you want to do. Well, at least I didn't get hit by that this time. Lots of, like, one tile jumps here. <laughs> Goomba blocks, because why not? So did this did this mansion like already have lava in it or did Wario have that installed? All right, so I already know about this, but the middle tile there is a trap. And you want to jump over it so that you do not get you do not get to die. Alright, let's try again. Yeah, man, I mean, Wario's not gonna do all the dirty work. I'm sure he got a professional lava guy in to check the place out and make sure it's up to spec. Oh! Oh my god, how did I do that? Like, like, how did I make it out of that unscathed? Hey, I actually got here with a fire flower for once. Wouldn't you know it. It was nothing at all. I just had to get warmed up. You know, just had to do do my stretching. Bone platforms, very classy. Like artificial thwomp. Wario couldn't afford real thwomps. He had to go for, like, substitute thwomp. Oh, yes. Bubble copy of your head. That's how you know we're dealing with a classy sophisticant here. You know, you gotta be loaded if you want to afford bubble cu bubbles with your mustache and eyebrows on them. Oh, did I really get a star here? It's him, it's the man himself. But he's trying to get away. 
let's give chase. Oh no, he's using our powers against us. Oh no, I got hit. Cause I'm a fool. Ooh. Wario Sprite is really hilarious in this game. I can't believe I died to the easiest phase. And yeah, no checkpoint, so you gotta do the whole thing again. Checkpoints are for sissies. I think I got this down. I think we are in the good zone now, boys and girls. I could probably spin jump all the way there. I won't, but I probably could. Well, now you get to see what that does, because I accidentally forgot up oh, twice. It's fine, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. See, I didn't press the A button in time, but somehow I survived anyway. Oh. Don't know why I thought that would work. I'm getting impatient, that's the issue. Been going for about two hours. Hang on, I gotta... Uh, it's just my sister sending me dank memes. That was interesting. Dang man, I was this close. I had it. It was in the bag. But then, I tore open the bag. And then it wasn't in the bag anymore. At least I have successfully remembered how to get through this part. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, I got through it. But I have failed. At dignity. This D-pad's kind of starting to make my thumb hurt. Well, not hurt, really, but tingle. An uncomfortable tingle, much like the one in Zelda.
You know, if I had the bunny, if I had the bunny in here, then you'd be sorry. Okay, now I'm gonna take it real nice and patient with the budget thwomps. Dang it, Wario, you can't just keep doing that. We have we have rules in this society, Wario. And one of those rules is you're as a boss, you're not allowed to do the same attack like three times in a row. Gotta love how Wario's ground pound here actually freezes you in midair, which is a fun mechanic. But I got him. We got this in the bag. There we go. Blah 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 
Bla 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 bla. Langeton. Alright, so if I remember right, you're pretty much just like stuck on this screen now. So, alright, before we go, there's one quick thing I want to do, because it's probably not worth doing its own stream for. It's like a little glitch you can do. You, you guys probably know about it, but I want to do it. A little glitch you can do in the B level. First, let's just power on up. Why not? Okay, so now entice the bee into coming over. And give it a sec. Alright, so the bee's now over here. Try to get the bee. Try to get the bee over here. I don't want the bee to be too low. Because if the bee's too low, then the plan won't work. Ah, oh, dang it. Gotta try again. Gotta make sure the bee's following along here. You know what, for, for, for the purposes of this, I'm gonna save a state. Just because, you know, this isn't really about the playing the game at this point. This is about showing off a weird glitch. And I can excuse a save state for that, can't you? For maximum glitchitude. Nah, he's gonna have to... He's gonna have to go up a bit. Er, there you go. So yeah, and now I forget what exactly you do here. Sometimes I have it happen and sometimes I don't. But I'm just gonna jump around like a mad fool. There you go. Oh, no. It didn't stick. Oh, yeah, something. Something here. Maybe you gotta be here and then, like, then jump. No. I used to think it used to, like, slid into, uh... Like, you wanna slide into this. But I think that pretty much just takes you over here and you get stuck for the rest of eternity. Yeah, so that's not... That's not gonna work. Is it, like, get in the middle? I don't think so. But yeah, sometimes, I don't know exactly how you do it, but sometimes... You can, like, get Mario to transition up. And then that's where the fun happens. Here, just to make this easier on me, I have a cheat code. To, or I, I had a cheat code. There's a cheat code to disable the timer, but I lost it. Because Gambate didn't save my settings last time. What is this? Like, what? What are you doing? Something. 
It's something. Hey, while I'm doing this, could somebody like fetch me the Game Shark code for uh, disabling the timer? Oh, there we go. But then you just wait for Mario to take his wild ride here. And then he falls down here. And welcome to Diarrhea, Data Diarrhea Land. Where everything's broke and so am I. And like lots of weird things can happen when you're over here. Including just outright beating, beating the level instantaneously. And destroying a pipe. That's fun. And I'm pretty sure that hitting a question mark block at any point, yeah, say so like you can beat the level. There are many things you can do here. Truly, the world is your oyster when you come to Data Diarrhea World. See, I'm pretty sure that whenever Mario destroys one of these blocks, he's writing, like, garbage data. So I'm basically making a corruption right now. So I'm just gonna let the time run out and then I'll, I'll have that be the stream. Oh. Or that. Anyway, thanks for thanks for joining me for that. Uh, I'll see you later.